Well, I mean, I guess stay curious and open. I mean, it's. I mean, you you need to be curious about so many stuff just to to have to grow ideas or, yeah, being open-minded in a way. Um, and also, I think accept critics or listen to people. If you're working on a project and someone gives you like what they think about it, don't necessarily take it personally sometimes because it's not always uh, what you want to hear. But most of the time, it's the best thing that you need to do for the project. So listening to, to people as well, it's, it's pretty important. The best thing usually is like to have a story uh, for it when you work on a project. Um, and if you say, okay, I want to work for uh, this type of person and solve this problem. I mean, yeah, it's like every design project, I think usually you put a question and then you try to answer it uh, with a new design. So for example, for autonomous car, I don't know, it could be um, autonomous car for kids, I don't know. <laughs> uh, and yeah, maybe that could be yeah, something uh, to work on. So what are the needs of the kids? What, what do they need? Uh, what's the scenario? Um, and uh, how you could bring this little extra thing that makes your project amazing and how we will remember this project. Don't go too sharp sometimes in the shapes um, because, I mean, especially for interior design because in the end it's, it's where you will sit, where you will spend most of the time uh, in there. So it's, you need to keep in mind that an interior design, interior of the car is you touch everything and if there's a crash also, but that's more production. It's like getting more, you still need to be a bit free when you're a student, but when it just feels that you can't sit in this interior, then it doesn't get that good. Just keep in mind that it's, it needs to be believable. Mm -hmm.